what, what are you what are you seeing? What's keeping them up at night? If there's any generalities or any you know any specifics that you're hearing, uh, if you had to think about the number of these CEOs that you're privileged to, uh, to work with, what do you what are you hearing and seeing for yourself? Mm. Well, interestingly, the, I don't think the thing that keeps them up at night has really changed, but why it keeps them up at night really has. Mm. So when I first started coaching CEOs, one of them, as I was talking with him, said, you know, I realize that all my problems have shoes. <laughs> Meaning every issue that he had, everything that kept him up at night related back to people. And now, fast forward 12 years later, people are the issue. And I don't mean them as an issue, as in something we have to solve for, but something where we have to create an environment that they can solve for. Um, we got to empower them. We got to train them. We got to create an environment where they can be productive and fruitful and collaborate with others. You know, this whole work from home environment gets. Uh, a lot of press these days and now blended as we try to bring them back. And it's not about us and our desires to have them in the office. It's about what is the environment that helps them grow and thrive the best. And I'm not sure it's a one size fits all. And I think in our, our move towards efficiency, we get stuck thinking it's a one size fits all and and it's best one way or the other is best for the organization. And yet an organization isn't a thing. It's just a bunch of people that are gathered together to pursue a common cause. So that's what's, you know, it's all about people. And that's what's keeping my CEOs up at night with it, which is trying to figure that out.